This gospel reading from the sixth Friday of Easter happily corresponds and falls upon the second day of May when we celebrate the feast of St. Athanasius who wept and mourned as our Lord says in the gospel today while the world rejoiced. He was in anguish but he put his faith in the Lord and like a woman goes to labor and then forgets her pain as our Lord says again when the child has been born into the world so Saint Athanasius was able to persevere in the midst of very difficult circumstances and see in the end at least at the end of his life the fruit of his labor Saint Athanasius was the Bishop of Alexandria in the fourth century at a very 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 difficult time in the history of the church during the Arian uh, heresy heresy which taught that second person of the Blessed Trinity was not really divine and therefore Jesus was not divine and it was a heresy that spread throughout the Eastern Empire and became ingrained both within the civil life of um, society and within the church and during the life of Saint Athanasius he was exiled from his see of Alexandria by the Arians five times and spent 17 years of his life uh, in exile he was brought to trial a number of times by various uh, dioceses that and bishops that wanted to have him deposed and even by the Roman emperors on a number of occasions he was accused of uh, sacrilegiously uh, handling the sacred vessels and even on one occasion was accused of murder when in fact nobody had actually even died the person that he was supposedly had murdered had been stealed away and hidden so that people would think he was dead but they, the Arians went to no end uh, to see to it that Saint Athanasius uh, was gotten rid of because it was in that time uh, Saint Athanasius really against the world at that time 80% of the church in the East was Arian it was, uh, it was in heresy and he wouldn't back down he wouldn't stop teaching he wouldn't stop correcting he wouldn't stop uh, doing his duty as a bishop and he did it of course out of love for the Lord he did it through the strength that was given to him by Christ himself and so he fulfills very well what our Lord exhorted his disciples to do to persevere in the midst of pain and anguish knowing that our grief will be turned to joy even in this life because if we learn the lesson that Christ teaches us in the Mass the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass if we learn the lesson that he teaches us from the cross we know uh, that our faith uh, that leads us to these mysteries will strengthen us to persevere we know that our Lord's suffering and death in the end is a victory so let us persevere in our faith and remain faithful to the teaching of the church let us come before the, the Eucharist and share in the power of God and know that all of our sufferings are lifted up in Christ and made pleasing to God and if we persevere into the unto the end we will not only be saved but we will have eternal joy whatever we ask the father in the name of Christ he will give us we should ask before anything else that we should love him like Saint Athanasius did and persevere through all our trials out of love for him